Is it recording? Yeah, it says it is. Okay, sorry. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, take two. All right, here we go. October 9th today is Wednesday. It's the first um, DEI meeting of the month, I almost said of the week of the month. And so we will be going through DEI.md um, later on in the meeting. If we have anybody that joins that wants to talk about their w DEI, that file, they want to talk about that file. Um, but we have um, an incredibly exciting update from Eddie Inca. So, um, Matt, do you want to, you said you want to share? We're going to go through this and just, do it in real time. Adin Yenka had asked if you would share your screen and you were. Oh, and I didn't. <laughs> okay, let me just... that was, that's why I asked if you want me to. Cause... <laughs> I wasn't doing it. Okay, here we go. I was trying to be it. polite about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be polite with me. It's okay. Here <laughs> just flat out. Get on it. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here's the here's the meeting agenda. If anybody needs it, we can drop it in the chat for sure. Um, yeah. And then and if you want to add your name, go to badging. Oh, sorry. Badging.chaos.community, right? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, that was literally one seventy nine yesterday. I think we're like <laughs> we. We had a lot of applications coming in. <laughs> there were so many coming in. I'm like, is this the same one? And then I'm like, because I, I get messages. And I'm like, no, nope, it's a new one. There are so many. I mean, there were like three in one day, I swear. Yeah, I think so. Um, OK, so Eddie Inca, do you want me to, what do you want me to do, apply for a badge? Yes, apply for a badge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, chaos. so for now, you can just, uh, OK. Uh, you can just move yeah. nest, nest, nest. Uh, or we can do chaos to again. Like, like Georg said, we could do chaos con. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's just do that. We don't have a website yet. And I can't type. Yes, I am an organizer. Yes. Uh, Okay, this is going to be a long time, so this maybe we'll just like, put rando text in there. <laughs> okay, this is so great. Yes, we have this. Yes, yes. Tell the um, whoever's badging, we will actually fill one out later, but an, a real one. This is like, okay. this looks so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I love, if you click on the references, can you click on that one? So at the top, that drop down here. Oh, I should have, yes. Oh, found that found. Oh, okay. Doesn't we can go through and check all the all yeah, the that, links. That seems like on the WordPress oh. side of things, anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because if you're taking this right from WordPress, we probably have that broken there too. So oh. <clears throat> if there's only one thing that pops up, it may not even need to be a pop-up or the expandable section. True. Oh, this says provide link for event code of conduct, and that should be diversity access tickets. And I think that is a mistake on the actual uh, other one as well. Okay. I feel like we made changes and somehow they didn't get, they didn't go down to the other mm -hmm. site. So that's, if you're pulling from there, then yeah. Oh, and this one also says diversity access tickets, but it's under family families. And this says event code of conduct too. So just a okay. little few. I'm happy we're doing this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
So I, I think it's because the issue has been a long time um, between us launching the 4.0 for the event um, and diversity inclusion. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Um, and then this event location. Sweet. I think we, this is what we ended up with, right? Yeah. So we're just asking them to check and to look. Yeah, so I'm oh. talking about this text here. Once you click submit, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness. What? What? That is amazing. Flawless, flawless. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed and so excited. Yes. I, Cause I don't, so, honestly, I don't think that ha asking them to have a GitHub account is too much to ask. You know, and I, because I think we like having this open, transparent flow. So that's really the only requirement they're going to have is just to have a GitHub account. Yep. Right? Yes. Yes. They need to have a GitHub account and then just authorize GitHub um, to create an issue on their behalf. That's all. And so, so if um, the, they okay, didn't have sorry. a if, didn't if they were, I'm sure it works fine, but if they were, um, if they didn't have a GitHub account, or if they've, how about this, if they've never applied before, would they get yes. a request for authorization so, to submit? Mm -hmm. So that was what I was about to say, okay. that um, the next step for us regarding this is to create like uh, a load state that would inform a user for the first time to say, oh, do we need to authorize? Okay. And then, or, GitHub is already uh, working on your behalf. You know, we just kind of like uh, make the messaging to be right for yep. the particular loading state. But okay. there, in between the, this last page and the GitHub um, issue creation, there will be a page that will inform the, um, the user what's the next step that is going to happen. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. So... And um, for a first time user, um, it's going to just lead them to GitHub and ask them to um, authenticate and then before it goes yeah. to create an issue. That's like how the event badging or the, I mean, project badging mm -hmm. works. It just asks. Exactly. Them. Okay. So let's, um, can you go previous, go back to the beginning, just do previous from here, down low, yeah. Okay, so okay, so click next. I'm just maybe we could take a second for Adinyanka and just make sure that so event demographics. Should this say speaker and attendee? Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, can I just go back to our um, previous? issues and then just look at what is the standard and then call, um, then we bring it back here. Is that fine? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, I think I think the front end engineer um, followed what was on the on the design, the Figma design. That's why we have yeah. this disparity. I didn't okay. notice that on time. So I was we're going to correct. I was just trying going to walk through it and try to point out where some disparities might occur just so they don't miss them. Okay. Okay. So this could you click on references there, Elizabeth? Yeah, so I think just maybe double check the links. It looks like all links will have to be checked. Yeah. Be my guess. 
Yeah, because they're looking, it's all pointing to old, old links. Yeah. And then like, okay. And do we just, do we want to, for the link, do we just want to point out to the metric that we have? Yeah. We, I think we just want to point out, that was what I thought, but. The event demographic metric. Yeah. Uh, because right now this is pointing to like if you click on that last one open that in a new tab this this one okay. yeah oh open demographics initiative yeah like that's I, do we want to provide that here um we As we currently do but we don't have to isn't that is that available through the metric i'm sure it is i hope it is it should be I'm just thinking for simplicity and not like maintaining URLs. We just point them yeah. here. No, click on metrics. No, click on metrics. What are you doing? It's so slow. It's not helping me. Okay, event demo graphics. Make it go. We removed all the caching and now it's slow. Uh, let's see here. So references. Yes, it is there. Uh, and my my preference would be we go back to badging that we just link to the metric. Just link to the metric only. Yeah. What do you think? That's my preference. I'm just one person. I think I would be fine with that. And then we wouldn't actually need the drop down, even though I like the drop down. It's very cool. What do you think, Adinyanka? I think it's good that we maintain simplicity. If the particle, this particular metric document is going to give the user all the information they need, yep. um, that's fine. Okay. And then it will point to another tab, open it on another tab for them rather than on this particular page. Yeah, it should open up a new tab. Yeah, I agree. they could just come here. Yeah. Okay. And then I think the the link. We'll just go to the web page, right? Yeah, um, yeah, it'll in a new tab. Update links and make sure they go to a new tab. Maybe it's just my computer that's really slow today. I don't understand why it's not. There we go. And I think, <laughs> like, go back to badging. Yeah. Instead of saying chaos metric document, it would say like chaos event demographic metric. Like it would just say the name of the metric. So right now it just says metric document. Open in a new tab we set. Okay. And then like and then the top it's like see how it says chaos metric document? Mm -hmm. I, I think that should just say chaos event demographic metric. Just the name of the metric. Yeah, I mentioned the metric name. I felt like they all said chaos metric document. They did. Okay. So we removed the references drop down, right? Yeah. 
And I think okay. you just have a link that would say, in this case, it would just say uh, chaos like demographic metric. Okay. And then go back. So event demographics. I think maybe this could say commence, uh, commits to, I think, I feel like we changed this. We, we, like, if you were doing this, it was something more about like how you're storing the information, not about what the process was from, do you remember that conversation, Matt? I do. Let me just check the, oops, it's gonna go here. Oh, do we still have access to the old one somewhere maybe? Let me see. Is it like uh no. no? Okay, I'll look at the old one. I feel like there was um we had changed that to because the LF had said that they made the um they made the conscious decision not to track and measure that openly through registration because they didn't it was like privacy issues so they don't want to have to store the data something like that so we had a big long conversation about it in this group about what our requirements were for that <clears throat> for that metric do you remember that anybody i 100 percent I remember that okay it, i think so, we may have said something like we have considered event demographic like it was very it, we turned it pretty vague like yeah, this is something yeah like, like if if you are measuring this more about like how are you saving the data and protecting the data mm -hmm. not necessarily that like measure okay so yeah let me um so it's down in march 6th oh look at you you even have the date what the heck it's on page 31 yeah right here yeah 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 okay so we'll just we'll we'll just move this up. <clears throat> well, I want to just come back. Oops. Event demo graphic page. We'll just put that here. Does that make sense, Arinka, to you? Yes, to make yes, this. Yes. Okay. <coughs> I think we also, before I forget to mention it, on the public health one, I think we also had some changes on that one too. Yeah. Because we aren't going to require them to go through it. Right. Remember that one too, Matt. That's on the top of page six. Oh, here we go. Change our wording to this. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, and I'm guessing. Way, you're right. Yeah, I'm guessing you're right, Anaganka. Like the front end person was taking it off of the old Figma example pages. Yep. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. <clears throat> um, so another thing, we don't make any of the input uh, compulsory, right? Which ones? We're not um, yeah. any any of the responses. I mean, the questions oh, rather. We shouldn't yeah. make any of the questions compulsory. I agree. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Please, please detail that. Okay. Do we want to keep going through? Yeah, let's. Yeah, oh, let me just. Okay, yeah, yeah. This one too, I think was a little um, 
it was like because originally we had asked first for speaker demographics and then for attendee demographics and then we changed so this this just yeah make sure they line up so just say this that should just say this commits to an inclusive experience at the event mm -hmm. yeah we'll just document that here okay so the question i want to ask is is, is it um okay to just go to the um, applications before these new ones before we launched this particular um, feature and just use that to yes. like correct all the all these um ones that we're missing yes okay and then that would probably be the easiest thing and then we still might want to do like you could ping me out in yanka and like i could go through and just make sure all the text is correct because it's possible we still have some errors but but yeah if you could just go back and take the text from two weeks ago or whatever it was mm -hmm. that'd be mm -hmm. perfect and then we can just okay. do a regular audit on it okay yeah so then maybe none of your notes here matter elizabeth <laughs> awesome <laughs> Well, that's good because if I messed them up, then it doesn't matter. So it's totally fine. <laughs> okay. Anything else we want to talk about then? No, I think if if Arinyanka has, if, if they go back and take a look at what we had from two weeks ago, that should solve any of the auditing that we were doing here. Okay. I would do that. Awesome. <clears throat> I will have an update before our uh, next meeting, or maybe at our next meeting. <laughs> yeah, you could put uh, it, yeah. if you have an update, like if you've done it, go ahead and put it in the Slack channel. Because then I can, okay. I'll take a look at it then, and then I'll just do another quick pass on it just to see if there's any minor issues. Okay, that works. I think too, though, um, this part still will probably need changed because I think that is still applicable. You know, the links. <clears throat> yeah, the, the only link we provide is the link to the metric. Yeah. I'm not sure what we had two weeks ago. Probably not that. Okay. But maybe. I don't know. Adinka, is there anyone that you want to recognize for their work on this? Was there anyone that was doing like the majority of the work? I really want to make sure that they get the recognition. Yes, please. Desmond has been fantastic. He's a fantastic developer. He worked on this uh, for the most of um, the time. And um, I would really like to like, publicly recognize him, honestly. Then gift gift was so fast. In fact, uh, we've had issues with the front end aspect for a long time, and she promised me I'll do it um, during the weekend, one weekend, and then we'll get it done. So I'm sure if she had maybe we have updated the design, we won't be having this problem that we have. So I'm just gonna reach out to her again, confirm our availability, and then we get to come together and work on this particular um, issue. So give thank you to this month. Yeah, thank I was you, thinking, give Yeah, could you want to do maybe a chaotic of the week, chaotics of the week, like gift and Desmond? Okay, so Desmond has been um, appreciated as a chaotic before. Okay. Probably um, gift. We can do that for yeah. gift. That'd be great. So I nominate gift. <laughs> I will also give them um, I, I will also give them a shout out at the weekly. Um, mm -hmm. I think Let me put a, a last name so that you can um, please. Yeah, I think we have be able to yes, you can be able to differentiate. Yeah. And... That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I, I have to drop off. Yeah, you have another. Yeah. 
Yes. Thank you, Aditya. Yes. You are awesome. You. We love you. Our heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
finalized and posted publicly, which is awesome. So thank you to the code of conduct team for that, all their work on that. That was a lot to get these written, go through the community. This should not be a surprise to anybody because we have been kind of floating these around for a while. So if you do have any um, any comments or anything, I guess you could reach out to the code of conduct team. Georg or Anita, is, is there anything to add that you'd like to add? I'm happy that the procedures are online. Thank you for helping me with that online. Yeah, they look really great. Um, okay, so we have two kind of actual worky things here. Um, we do have a metric to review if we have time. Uh, I do want to bring this up. I'm guessing, I don't think we have anybody that's joined that wants to talk about their DEI. I know it's all just us. Okay. So there are, I noticed there were some projects that have DEI.md files that did not go through the process. Um, wanted to just bring it here to see if we care or if we're okay with that. Do we want to reach out? Do we not? Um, Django was one, which I thought was interesting that they got have that, but they didn't apply. And I don't, I don't actually know why. We should definitely reach out. I mean, applying is mostly just like saying just a pointer to it like and then we we recognize it on our site i guess and also i'm not sure how like what the best way to reach out is since we don't have a contact there really probably open an uh, issue maybe yeah that's a good idea i was just really excited to see them there might be more i tried to kind of do a search on github i didn't have a ton of luck. I did see where um, WordPress was considering, but they the conversation has lagged. This was from March, <clears throat> where they I were mean, talking about March. You should comment on the issue and just say, you know, we're here to help. If you let's just comment right now. Under me. Well, under, <laughs> you're the community manager. We're stalking your project. <laughs> I feel a little bit stalkery. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, okay. I, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to do that after this meeting and like, like. Uh, I mean, the Django, my... the Django one makes sense because I think that um, folks from GitLab had mentioned that Django <gasps> was gonna do it. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> but it's on GitHub. Wait, why would they? Mention yeah, that? It was weird. Right. It would also, once we get a little bit more adoption, interesting to scrape all of GitHub and see which repositories have the that file DI markdown and then automatically say, hey, issue, come on. <laughs> just push this button. Yeah. <laughs> Are we just, we just, oh no, I guess we can't do it on their behalf. <laughs> just, I was going to say, just apply for them and be like, here's your thing. Well, um, personally, I think we should, now that you found these, way to go, you found them, so now you should post a, <laughs> I do, I, I think you should just point them to it and be like, we really, we, we're here to help, is there anything you need? It is open source, so we found it. Another idea is to post a blog post and because if someone searches for DIMD and they're looking for guidance, if we talk more about it and we talk about this particular issue that, hey, we are starting to see these in the public, uh, I think what would be cool on the security app, uh, sorry, on the chaos block. And then it also points the projects that are maybe hesitant towards if maybe they should come across it, that would be good to encourage them. That would be good. Like, yes, to your point, Georg, that would be good <clears throat> to just say, hey, we um, just wrote a blog post about this exact thing. So if you need help applying, here you go. And just leave it at that because I don't need to start a whole conversation. 
<laughs> that I will not follow up on. Yeah, I like that. Do we have any other um, thoughts on this? Nope. Okay. So we have about nine minutes. Let's just look really quickly at this. Um, this is one of the metrics that Matt and I uh, and Peculiar and Yiga have been um, in our metrics review. This one is one that came up. So um, we, Matt and I have been looking <laughs> over this metric and we're like, yeah, there's a lot going on here. It's very confusing metric. It feels like there's, it's not really, um, it's not very solid, honestly. Uh, so we just thought we'd bring it back here. So I don't know if we want to take a couple minutes and get in the doc. And what do you think? So yeah, just um, to, I've been thinking about this one, not this one, but like all of them. So I, I'm guessing we're going to run into a few during this audit process, this extensive audit process that are just, they're just not well written. And they're very confusing. So the confusion comes from things like what the question states and then what the objectives are and then maybe like what the filters would be. Like they just don't line up with one another. And so part of like fixing some of these metrics is we need to either rewrite the question or rewrite the description or rewrite the filters. Like, we're not, And we're not really sure what is the most important part to keep, you know what I mean? So like, is the question the most important thing? Because if the question is the most important thing, then that'll have an impact on how we describe it and then how we might go about measuring it. But if the objectives are the most important thing, then that might have an impact on how we think about the question and subsequently how we go about measuring it. So this this metric right here is is really kind of, it carries forward a lot of problems as those those different things don't they just don't align real well. So um, part of me and we probably won't look at this today, but part of me was thinking, do we do we do we want to start thinking about archiving metrics, not removing them, but like on the web page right now, let's just say we have a link to, you know, say ninety metrics. And like, this would be a candidate for archival. Like we would remove it from the web page. The link is still there and alive. So if somebody was ever linking to it, we're not removing that. Um, but I just, I don't know, like maintaining some of these that just aren't well put together is seems to be a real challenge. I have other thoughts on different parts of the metrics too, but I'd like to hear what people's thoughts are on that. On this particular metric, I am perfectly happy with archiving it. And I also like the thoughts around how to be make sure the links don't break, as there might be users of the metrics. Um, I think not too long ago, I found a link in an old report from the Sustain conference to the chaos.com chaos.community slash metrics. Yeah, you probably saw that. <laughs> kind of important. <laughs> so I like that we think about that and are mindful to not break those. Yeah. And I think we can not break it just by maybe even just simple things like not displaying it on the web page. Like it's just, it's there. And the web link URL is still alive. It just it just isn't something that we put forward off of the web page. And the GitHub repo is still there. Like we wouldn't remove any of that. I think that's an easy step to say this metric, unless someone really cares about it, it's gonna go to the attic. That's that's exactly it. Because I look at the amount of time and I'm I'm guessing out of the 90, I'm not just saying like half of them will be this way, but I'm guessing there's going to be others that Elizabeth and I are trying to read our way through and we're like, this is a really not well written. It's not something that we 
it seems a little bit um, on the periphery sometimes of metrics. You know, it's not what we would consider to be a core metric or whatever that might mean. Um, and so then as we're doing this, um, it's just, there's just so many hours in a day <laughs> where we, we either need to rewrite this and I know, I know you agree. So I'm just kind of going back through my process, but either rewrite it, which would take four hours unto itself or archive it, which would take five minutes <laughs> unto <Yeah>. itself. <laughs> we just have to think about time. Yeah, I also prefer the that we have a quality set of metrics than a lot that people get confused with anyway. Yes. So I think this process may end up taking that 90 that we have on the website down to some smaller number, whatever that might be. What do you think, Elizabeth? And you're muted. Sorry. Yeah, I couldn't find. Um, I I agree. I think we we definitely can keep it on the website, and we definitely can keep it in the GitHub repo. Uh, we can uncategorize it so it gets hidden, it, yeah. and we can even put it like uncategorize it from all metrics because that's actually shows up as a category. Yeah. So we can purposely take it out. Um, we I think it would be helpful if we have a some kind of message at the top that I, says this says this has been. Move to the attic. It, it hasn't been maintained yeah. for a long time. We have, <laughs> I agree, some disclaimer at the top. Yeah, um, I think so. I think that would be all we would really need to do. I don't think it would require, sorry, Lucy's snoring very loudly. I okay. think it would just, I th yeah, I think it could be pretty easy. Okay. I'd like to start kind of circulating this idea because I, I, I think I'd like to, like Georg, kind of see that group of 90 metrics become 50, to be honest with you. I just think, you know, over time we learn what is critical and what we continue to put forward. Um, making sure we don't archive things that say are part of a model or part of, you know, one of the practitioner guides, but that's, I don't think any of those metrics that are part of the models or practitioner guides are kind of these maybe more peripheral metrics. Yeah, agreed. You know, I'm pretty sure the Don, yeah, pretty standard badging. metrics. Yeah, badging would be the thing too that we would want to check event and project, yeah. but yep, exactly. those three. That's pretty probably, easy. Yeah, right? Um, uh, yeah, I think we can take it to the metrics development working group, I, but. I, I would, I, we have that meeting tomorrow, but I'd like to propose this. Mm hmm agreed and I really like Georg's sentiment of quality over quantity, especially if we are going to be focusing on references and we did have a conversation about the visualizations which i'll bring up tomorrow too. Yeah. Um, there are some interesting thoughts around that as well, but yeah maybe just focusing on the ones that are core making them super solid instead of trying to make a thousand metrics that nobody can use More and more and more exactly. yeah yeah okay great. All right, that's like the it, end of. Yeah, so instead meeting. of working on it, let's <laughs> let's Perfect. let's put it in the archive <laughs> instead oh. of spending hours rewriting it. <laughs> so then I think I like for the... me, Elizabeth, like just you know how we meet on Thursday afternoons. Like if we run into another metric where you're just like, oh, what is happening here? And it's a metric that's not like I always use like age of an issue. Like that's probably an important metric if it's some sort of odd metric that has been kind of developed over the years. We have a number of metrics too that, um, you know, people kind of showed up and I feel like the metric was kind of important for their work <laughs> and then they got it published and then they left. And I think yeah. we might think about those metrics as well. I think there were a number that came out of the value working group from years ago. That yeah, that were just very specific for one use case it seemed like for one use case for one person and they got them published and then they left so i think we should do you, Matt, do you want to do that before peculiar and Yiga continue their work i hate for them to take all the time to I put something like in and to redo the structure of a metric and then we're like actually archive <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, let's have that chat with them in slack okay sounds good
Okay. All right. Okay. I think that's the end okay. of the meeting. Have a good nap, Lucy. <laughs> oh, she's sacked. Yeah. Good. I'll see you. Later. Okay. Bye. bye. Have a good one, guys. Bye.